question number 156 select the mismatch and the very first option given is a and f and the match is maintains blood volume and as it is a correct match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because a and f which represents atrial natri uretic factor is a hormone which is released from the atrial wall of heart when there is increased blood pressure and so in order to maintain the blood volume this hormone is released from the wall of heart the next option given is parath hormone and the match given is hypercalcemic hormone and as it is also a correct match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because parath hormone or pth which is released from the parathyroid gland increases blood calcium level so option number two is a correct match and is an incorrect option the third option is thyrocalcitonin and the match given is hypocalcemic hormone and as it is also a correct match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because thyrocalcitonin which is released from thyroid gland decreases blood calcium level so we can say that parath hormone acts antagonistically to thyrocalcitonin the last match given is progesterone and the match is follicular growth and as it is an incorrect match so this is a correct answer to our question because it is estrogen and not progesterone which is involved in follicular growth so the correct answer to this question is option number four let's proceed to the next question question number 157 scapula is a large triangular flat bone situated in the part of the thorax between the and ribs select the option which fill the blanks a b c correctly and we know that this is scapula which is a part of pectoral girdle in an upper arm and this scapula is present dorsally between the second and seventh ribs so the correct answer to this question is option number four dorsal second and seventh let's discuss other options also the very first option given is dorsal yes second and fifth rib this is an incorrect option ventral incorrect first and seventh rib this is an incorrect option ventral no second and sixth this is also an incorrect option so the correct answer to this question is option number four let's proceed to the next question question number 158 match column a with column b and select correct choice in following given options in column a options given are yellow spot vestibular apparatus csf and schneiderian membrane and in column b the options are olfaction shock absorber balance contains only cones for vg the very first option given is yellow spot and yellow spot is present at the optic axis of eye in retina where only cones are present for vision so option a in column one goes with option four in column b the next option given in column a is vestibular apparatus an inner ear contains a complex system called vestibular apparatus which is responsible for both static as well as dynamic balance of the body so b in column a goes with three in column b next option is csf that is cerebrospinal fluid and it acts as shock absorber so c in column a goes with two in column b and the last option given is Schneiderian membrane and this membrane in nodes is responsible for olfaction so D in column A goes with 1 in column B so the correct answer to this question is option number 2 that is A with 4 B with 3 C with 2 and D with 1 so the correct answer is option number 2 let's proceed to the next question Question number 159. Muscularis externa of elementary canal is characterized by, and we know that this muscularis externa of elementary canal contains 
smooth muscle fibers and these smooth muscle fibers are fusiform shaped involuntary uninucleated non striated unbranched muscle fibers let's discuss the options first the very first option is striated branched involuntary muscle fibers and this is an incorrect option because smooth muscle fibers are not striated and they are unbranched the next option is non striated involuntary fusiform shaped muscle fibers and this is a correct answer to our question next option is non striated multinucleated voluntary muscle fibers and this is an incorrect option because they are uninucleated and involuntary muscle fibers and the last option is striated voluntary branched muscle fibers and this is also an incorrect option because these are non striated involuntary unbranched muscle fibers so the correct answer to this question is option number 2 let's proceed to the next question question number 160 select the mismatch and the very first option given is pivot joint and the match given is between atlas and axis vertebrae and as it is a correct match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because pivot joint which is a type of synovial joint is present between the first and second vertebrae which are atlas and axis respectively the next option given is hinge joint and the match given is between phalanges and this is also a correct match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because hinge joint is present in elbow joint knee joint as well as between phalanges the next option is ball and socket joint and it is present between femur and joint acetabulum and as it is also a correct match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question and the last option given is suture and the match given is between edges and vertebrae and as it is a mismatch so this is a correct answer to our question because between edges and vertebrae cartilaginous joints are present joint are present between adjacent vertebrates so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 let's proceed to the next question 